It's about time we did some more flexibilities. This set has yet another twist to keep things interesting. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another Exercise of the Week video. If you're new to the series, I'm here every Monday with a new exercise for you to practice throughout the week. There are exercises of all sorts, ranging from routines to work on particular skills, to variety exercises to keep your daily practice interesting. This is episode 51, so there are all sorts of things you can go back and check out already. If you have a request for something specific you'd like an exercise to target, please comment below and let me know. The other thing you should know is that these exercises are all available as free downloadable PDFs from the Airflow Music Online Store. I'll post the link to this exercise in the description below. Now, let's get into it. This week I have another set of my Twisted Flexibilities for you. They're in odd meters as usual, but this set has an extra twist, a coordinated note bend in each pattern. I've made a few videos about note bending the past couple of years. I'm a big fan of practicing them, as they're very helpful for dialing in the correct airspeed for each pitch, as well as developing the feel for playing each pitch up at the broadest part of the top of the note. They can be particularly helpful for improving your agility around the instrument, if they're included in flexibility exercises. So that's what we have in this set. If you're new to note bending, then just go slow with these to begin with. It's not too difficult, once you get the hang of it, to perform a semitone or half-step bend on any note on the horn. Just make sure to make a smooth portamento all the way down into the note, and be sure to travel the full distance of the half-step. Go something like this. I should mention that they're performed much more by the tongue arch than the lips, which is why I prefer to call them note bends rather than lip bends. If you're having trouble figuring out how to bend, then try breath whistling the half step first, like this. That'll help you figure out how your tongue needs to move. Then do the same on the horn and crescendo into the bend a little, to keep the air column nice and focused. Getting back to this particular exercise, I have four patterns for you. They're all in 7-8 time and there's a bend in each bar. If you look at the PDF or the excerpt on screen, you'll see that the bend is marked with an X note head. Each pattern cycles through three valve positions and is transposed into six keys, so you involve all seven valve positions in the course of the four sets. I want you to focus on playing smoothly and evenly from note to note. Go as slowly as necessary to begin with. The fingering marked on the first note of each bar should be used throughout the whole of that bar. These exercises are in 7-8, so that means that the 8th notes are all of equal length. There's no triplets involved here. I suggest you keep the time straight by tapping your foot on each accented note, as well as applying a breath accent to it. You should try and develop enough dexterity with these that you can play through each repeated section at least four times in one breath. If you really get them moving, you should be able to go much longer than that. I'll demonstrate the first key of each of the four sets.
once you get these moving nice and easily, I recommend that you alternate repeats slurred and tongued. That does include tonguing the bent note too. It's not too difficult once you get the hang of note bending. If you have any questions about these exercises, or I missed explaining something, please leave me a comment below. I'll respond to you as quickly as I can. Also, if you have a request for another exercise of the week, or you'd like to suggest any topic for me to make a video about, I'd love to hear from you. The comments have been getting busier and busier later, which is great, so let's keep that going. Like I said earlier, the exercises in this series are all available for free download. However, if you'd like to support the work that goes into making these videos, you also have the option to name your own price and contribute a few dollars. Think of it as the easiest way to buy me a cup of coffee or a beer. Alternatively, while you're over at airflowmusic.com downloading the exercise, please check out the books and other merchandise I have on offer. All sales directly support making these videos. Thanks for checking this video out. It's time to do all the YouTube things I'm supposed to remind you about. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. I'll see you next Monday with another exercise of the week. Now, go practice!